Uh, hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, uh, style a mobile action button and uh, add your own custom uh, CSS gradient, background or your own color or even change uh, the color uh, of this word here and in general do anything you like and uh, so that you can further expand uh, the already given seven themes of application craft as you know application craft so far gives us the opportunity to choose among seven different themes for our mobile action button a black theme uh, a blue theme etc you know how it goes uh, okay to begin with uh, what you will need is um, a program like Notepad. I'm using uh, uh, Notepad 2 for this purpose. Uh, you, are, you will need to create a blank uh, CSS file. In order to do it, you just open your Notepad and save the file uh, using any name you like, as long as uh, um, the extension of the file is .css. Okay, so here now we have uh, a blank uh, CSS file. Uh, where we will start uh, writing uh, our own custom uh, style. Uh, in order to style our mobile action button, we don't need to know any sort of uh, CSS uh, uh, tags or properties and stuff like that. Uh, first of all, we need to save our app, then run it in live mode, and to use uh, a CSS inspection debugger tool like uh, Chrome's uh, inspection tool or Firebug or Firefox uh, or anything uh, that is uh, more appropriate to you. I am using uh, Chrome's uh, debugger which you can pop up by clicking Ctrl Shift J. Here is the, the debugger window. Okay, so at uh, the bottom of uh, the debugger you will notice the inspection, the element inspection tool. If you click it once, then if you click on your button, you will notice that uh, on the left uh, panel here we see the HTML of our, our page. And on the right panel here you can see all the elements, uh, our mobile button and their properties and classes. Uh, okay, uh, as you will notice, uh, we will need uh, to define three different uh, states of our mobile button. The first state is uh, as you see the button now, that has uh, some sort of uh, light grey gradient. The second state is when you hover over the button. You, can, you will notice that the color changes. And then the final state is when you click on the button. You will see that the color changes again. Uh, of course, you can only define only one style, but uh, for this tutorial I'm going to change uh, the background for all three states. This state when you hover over the button and when you click on the button. And instead of using just uh, a color, I'm going to try something more fancy and include uh, a different gradient for each of uh, these three different uh, states. Application Craft uh, uses uh, three different uh, classes to define these three different states of the button when it, the way it is now, when we hover over it and when we click on it. Uh, so we go back to our empty uh, CSS file and uh, we start creating our custom uh, class for these three different states for the mobile button. In order to do it we always start with div that and here we name our custom theme. I, I can name it uh, mobile button theme and then we open and close the brackets. We need to define three different states of the button so we just copy paste this three times. Sorry, theme. We save our file again. Okay, uh, as you will see here from the left panel, uh, the class uh, that is responsible for when the button is up is the MUI BTN App C. C refers to the theme. I used a gray theme, so it it is uh, it has a C uh, 
uh, value. If I use the blue element, maybe it, had, it has uh, a B value, and etc. Uh, so, uh, for this purpose, uh, we are going to copy this. Then go back to our CSS file and add the class here. Any class we add needs to have a dot before it to define that this is a class. Okay, I'm also copying this below. And so we have the first state for when the button is up, the second state for when we hover over the button, so we change the name from up to hover, and the third, st and the third state for when uh, the button is clicked, and we change this to down. So we have up, hover, and down, and we save our file again. The next step is to define uh, what uh, type of gradient we want for each one of these different states. Uh, because setting uh, the gradient is not uh, very easy if you are not um, if you know very very good uh, CSS, I'm using uh, a tool for this uh, purpose, which is called uh, Ultimate CSS Gradient Generator. There are many other tools uh, which uh, you can use, but um, this is the most convenient one uh, for me. Okay, so let's say that. Uh, for when the button is up, uh, we want this type of gradient. So, as you can see, upon clicking here, of course I can uh, de manually define uh, my own custom uh, uh, gradient properties, but uh, I will use um, an, a preset for this uh, tutorial. Okay, when I click here, you will notice that a CSS code is, is generated uh, on the right side. All I need to do is just go here, copy this code, and then go to my CSS file and paste the code here. This is uh, very easy to do, and uh, all I need to do is repeat the same procedure for the two other states, for when we hover over the button and for when we uh, click on the button. So we go to our the ultimate CSS uh, gradient generator and I will choose for the hover state uh, this type of gradient I'm copying the code go back to my CSS file and I also paste uh, the code here and now what's left is uh, the third state for to define the, the style for the third state for when the button is uh, down is pressed or clicked. So we go again to our to this tool and uh, let's choose the the black gradient provided here. Again we copy the code then go again to our CSS file and paste the code here and uh, then we save our file. Now uh, if we are okay with this, uh, it, we are ready to upload uh, our CSS file to our resources folder. Uh, in order to do it, you will need to save your app of course, then close the app. Go to your resources folder and upload the file here. Okay. You can give it any name you like. I will choose it CSS Tutorial. And uh, then you need to go to that file and uh, copy its uh, URL link. It's right here. I'm just copying this link. Then I need to edit uh, to go back to my app. And in the app properties, you will notice the preload files uh, section, uh, where I will uh, I will add uh, a new row and paste uh, the URL of uh, my CSS file here, and then save my app. So now we are going to run our app to see if. Uh, uh, the the style of the mobile button changed. Okay, I'm refreshing my window. 
and uh, as you can see no change was made why is that? Uh, this is because uh, we omitted a very important step uh, which is uh, to define uh, inside the widget uh, every widget in uh, AC has uh, a property called custom CSS classes which you can find here and uh, in order to tell, a, to tell this widget to read the new style uh, we need to go to our CSS file and copy the name we gave for this theme which is mobile btn theme I'm, I'm copying this and paste it here ok, now we need to save our app again and uh, refresh our page as you can see uh, for when the button is up, this is the, the button now shows the, the specified uh, gradient uh, theme uh, we used. When we hover over the button, it, it changes to the second style we specified. And when we click on the button, you will see the third style. 